Promise! Go back there right now! Promise! Say it! I'll promise if you... No! Say it! Promise! This is Olivia Cook, an actress known for her dramatic performances in Bates Motel, Me and Earl in The Dying Girl, Ready Player One, and she plays Queen Hightower in the Game of Thrones prequel series, House of the Dragon. While studying drama in England, Olivia got her first on-screen role in the BBC miniseries Blackout as Meg, a daughter dealing with her dysfunctional, alcoholic father. Some of the states you've seen me and we drink. Never gonna drink. Bad news. She followed that up with a significant role in another miniseries, The Secret of Crickley Hall, as a teacher at an orphanage for World War II evacuees who is horrified to discover abuse from the staff. You don't have to instill fear to get respect. Shortly after, Olivia's first big break came with her American debut as Emma, a bright young girl with cystic fibrosis who befriends a nice, quiet young man named Norman Bates who's for sure not a budding psychopath in the series Bates Motel. They think I killed her. I think you did too, Norman. And she received critical acclaim for her honest and vulnerable performance as Rachel, a high schooler facing a battle with leukemia in the Sundance favorite Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. I'm the one who has to suffer through this, not you, so don't yell at me. And after wrapping up Bates Motel in 2017, Olivia had a chance to play her own version of a psychopath as Amanda, an emotionally devoid young girl who conspires to kill her friend's stepfather in the dark comedy Thoroughbreds. Well, that's a funny thing, actually. I really don't. Do what? Feel anything. The following year, Olivia got the chance to work with Steven Spielberg when she played Samantha, who, through her in-game avatar Artemis, sets out to save the massive online virtual world of the Oasis in Ready Player One. A real gunter would risk everything to save the Oasis from IOI. Soon afterwards, Olivia's popularity surged, even garnering an IMDb Star Meter Award in 2018. Thank you, IMDb fans. I don't think I've ever surged in anything, so this is really lovely. Following her performance as a witty, manipulative gold digger in Vanity Fair, Olivia found success in low-key indie films, especially as Lou, a heavy metal singer trying her best to help her boyfriend after his sudden hearing loss in the Oscar-winning drama Sound of Metal. You don't want to be here? Of course I do. Olivia even joined the not-so-glamorous world of espionage in Apple TV Plus's Slow Horses. But then... As we've established, I am better at surveillance than you. After mastering BBC period dramas, breaking through with American television, and headlining blockbuster films and TV shows, Olivia Cook has all the makings of a versatile leading woman who will only continue to bring authenticity to her work.